Alright, what's going on guys? So I am out doing a bit of side work, but I decided to stop for a second just to talk and try to get a bit more content. If you are new to the channel, my name is Mike Hayes and for the past few days I have been recording every day my adventures, I guess you can call them, in real estate until I close my next deal. And the good thing about that is that my next close should be coming up pretty soon, hopefully within the next couple of weeks. I did sign an agreement last week to purchase a house. One's gonna turn over and be an assignment deal for you know some quick cash. And that one hopefully will be closing out within the next couple of weeks or so. This week, or actually today, I'm continuing that momentum. So I did sign a second one today. Really nice house that came to me as a referral and it was one that I wanted to jump on. Really getting out of my comfort zone and trying to close this thing completely virtual. Now, if you are new to like wholesale terms, real estate terms. When I say I want to close this now virtual, I'm trying to outsource the different pieces to where I don't actually ever have to go out to the house to get the thing closed. So for example, repairs and the situation and all that, that was all handled over a phone conversation. I had a chance to talk to the seller just about her situation, the challenges with this one. We made an agreement for me to purchase that would benefit both her and me as the buyer. To get that part done, it wasn't something that I really needed to be out there to do. We have an inspection period so if the repairs aren't as she said that they were then you know we either have to adjust the price or cancel the contract so even on the back end when i go to get pictures and send out people to inspect the house i'm just making phone calls and making all that happen so i already got somebody set scheduled tomorrow to go and take out pictures for me i just had to make sure that i had the house at a decent enough price to to satisfy the seller but also to make sure that my buyers can get a, um, a really good deal that they can make money on. Let's come out the seatbelt real quick. I think I'm about to end the shift. I'm just doing some side gig work. Man, it's kind of crazy how that happens. Like I said, I was documenting a fix and flip earlier on when I started this channel and it was going great. But of course, I've talked about this before, but it sent me a real good punch once I sold it, the market shifted and lost money on it. And it really took a lot of the confidence out of me to the point where I just had to force myself to get up and keep going because I mean if we're being completely honest like this kind of just side work it's just not enough to do what I need to do with my family so I had to force myself to jump back in the game and just off of these next couple of checks again pending that they get through escrow and everything is fine then I'll have made more money just on these two checks and I would have just doing all this side work that I really don't want to be doing but as a man got to do what I got to do for my family temporarily until we can get all this you know going back strong i know that there are at least a few people that come to my channel and we're in a similar situation or let me let me back up because i do have experience doing this i have sold bought and sold a lot of houses but this last run like i said it kind of made me feel like i was starting all the way back from the beginning so if you are in that position where you are kind of like on the beginning stages or maybe you took a good punch like i did and you're not really sure where to start my advice to you would be to just keep going. So even when I was out looking for full-time jobs, like I, I, after this last one, I stopped and I was like, okay, no, I need to find something full-time now. One of the companies that I went to and I met with the owner of the company and it's, it's good that just throughout my career doing all this stuff, I built these relationships to where I can go to different CEOs and ask them, hey, you got a job for me. And I went to one in particular, he sat down with me, kind of cleared his schedule to, to give me about an hour to just sit and talk to him. And he told me then and there that he didn't have a job for me and that his advice for me would be to not stop, keep going. Because if I did stop and take on the one job that he did have for me, he knew that I wouldn't be satisfied with myself. If you feel like your back is against the wall and you just kind of want to give up, that's something that I would say just don't do because you will never know what it feels like to succeed if you stop. There's no way that you can actually get to that success if you know, you're know you making your way halfway up that hill and then you just decide to stop and reverse and go the other way. But yeah, man, I'm too deep in this now to stop and I gotta be honest with you. If you with me, throw up a like, but I wanna know what that, that true success feels like and just to know that I finally hit the big goal, not the smaller goals that I've been hitting here and there, and don't get me wrong, those smaller goals are good too. Like even these last couple of contracts that I've signed over the past two days, those smaller goals, they felt great and they just made me wanna continue and keep going. But I know I gotta keep going harder, push through those barriers, those especially those mental barriers where you just wanna give up and 
man, just got to keep going. A lot of these success stories that you see, you just don't see the years of defeat and failure and all that years and years and years before they actually make it big. So with that being said, I'm just kind of enjoying this process as I get there. There have been some definite headaches, but nothing that has been severe enough to just make me say, you know, I'm going to completely give this up. So if you are out there and you're still trying to hit that goal, just want to let you know that we are on that same journey. Keep hitting those smaller goals. Don't stop. And eventually you will be able to see and touch that big goal. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Peace.